worship His majesty Unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise Hello! Welcome to Tony Point with Femi Emmanuel on radio. This God sent voice to be a blessing to your life on a daily basis. We bring God's word from heaven, filled with anointing, with revelationary knowledge, with impartational grace, and the miraculous manifestation. Don't miss it every day. Let it build up, extend it beyond yourself, and invite your family members, your friends, and your neighbors. Ask them to tune in to this highly esteemed radio station at this time every day. It's also available on several other radio stations within the city and the state just for you to bless you for salvation for healing for expansion for prosperity for power for longevity and every good thing that the human soul may desire under the sun you will get it as you connect to this anointing we always start with confession of faith faith is a confession worship is an expression faith is a confession we confess what God word says about us and it comes to stay be as loud as we are here if you can where you are but don't keep your mouth or your heart shut a closed mouth and a closed heart will lead to a closed destiny take this confession with us my father and my god i'm before you again today asking for your divine presence in your presence there is fullness of joy from today O oh lord let your greater glory rest upon me. Glory changes story. I will tell new story. I will give new testimony. I am going further. All mountains before me shall be made low. All valleys before me shall be hewn down. Doors shall open for me in my desired location doors shall open for my children at their desired location thank you for the good things you have made happen for me but there are new things there are higher heights for me to serve you better for me to impact my generation by this encounter let your new oil flow into my life let a new dimension of grace be manifesting in me. I have passed through this level. I am going to a higher level. It is my time for favor. It is my time for help. It's my time for promotion. I connect to the power of heaven. The power that sustains the heaven and the earth. I connect to that power. I am not coming down. I am going higher. I will be happy. I will serve you in abundance. I will serve you with greater anointing. I will not be left behind. I will fulfill my purpose. Thank you for favoring me. Thank you for lifting me. Thank you for helping me. I will return and give you glory in Jesus' name. Somebody say a bigger amen. amen. Wow. You will not just be taking the confession, you will be seeing the manifestations of God's wonders. From faith confession, we now come to word exposition. We are word driven on this commission. Please have your notebook with you. If you can, do your jottings, go over them to apply them. We are on the topic how to make money and grow wealth God's way. This is part of the series of how to in life there is a how to in all issues in life in this life things don't just happen they are made to happen good or bad positive or negative things don't just happen they respond they are made to happen they respond to some stimulus and that is what we've been trying here and if you don't know this if you don't know what to do or how to do it or you do it the wrong way you won't get the uh, desired result. You remain on the same spot or even begin to go back and degenerate. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 15 says, The way of the foolish, or call them the ignorant people, we read all of them, 
for they do not know how to get into the city. Oh yes, they do not know how to enter. Um, for that, one word for that is ignorance. Don't be an ignorant person. Knowledge is power. Our world today is knowledge driven. That is what we are teaching here. Then prayers that follows the divinity that backs it up. This time we are on how to make money, be rich and be wealthy. We call all the definite good and things of life, how to live a financially comfortable life. That's what we are teaching here. Yes, we may not all be wealthy to become like Elon Musk or Warren Buffett or Jeff Bezos or Larry Ellison or Mark Zuckerberg or Larry Page or Bill Gates, then come back home in Nigeria. We may not all grow wealth to be like Aliko Dangote, Michael Denuga, Pascal Dozier, Abdul Rabiu, or Oji Uzokalu, and so on. We may not all be billionaires in Naira or dollar, but we can all be financially comfortable. That is the minimum. We can all live to meet our basic essential needs of human beings, food, clothing, and shelter, a decent roof over one's head, good nourishing food for our bodies to live long and live well. We can all send our children to a good school and give them a good start in life. We can all ride cars to take us from one point to the other. I'm not talking of luxurious SUV or several millions, but essential needs, essential needs. Owning a car is not a luxury in Nigeria. It's a necessity in a country where there is no well-structured and run public transportation system. Owning a good, decent house with basic amenities like electricity, borehole, good generator, solar system, or effective inverter is not greed, it's not materialism, it's not worldliness, it's not ungodly in a country where everyone is to himself or herself. As a matter of fact, if you lack these basic amenities, life will be so traumatic. Your effectiveness and efficiency in what you do will be greatly reduced. You will be disabled. No vehicle, no water, no electricity, no security, no good road, no good house. Ah, life will be a trauma. How far can one go that way? No health, good health, sickly, no money to visit hospital, and even buy drugs. No, 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 no. God did not intend that for any one of us. That is why I'm teaching the secret of having money and growing wealth God's way without soiling your character or your hand. We can all have money to live a happy, godly, fulfilled life. If as you listen to me, you are poor, chronically poor, owing debt here and there, you are sick, no money for proper treatment, you eat what you see, not what you like or love, you wear what you see, not what you have loved to wear. Struggle, struggle to do things. The reason is ignorance, financial ignorance. You did not have a teacher, a mentor, somebody to put you through on how to make money. Money has a root. Somebody to teach how to make money, manage money, and multiply money. Those names I mentioned earlier on, that was what they knew, and they operated it and put their names on the world map. I prophesy your own name too will come up. I ask everyone to always hold a currency in your country or around you as you listen to this message for prophetic impartation. I'm here to teach you and also to pray with you into it. Please follow these teachings. Listen to me every day on this series. I am going to be on it for a while and I'm not in a hurry about it. In Africa, in Nigeria especially, our tradition, our culture, our superstitions are not helping us at all. A lot of lies have been told us about money. So many proverbs and saying of the elders that anti-riches, anti-wealth, very contrary. Please, you will have to come out of it and delete all those lies from your mindset, all those superstitions. No one can help a person beyond his 
or her mindset. That is why in this series I've been speaking to our mind. I haven't come to the real teaching, but I'm trying to reset our mind. You can't help a person, the Bible says, as a man or a woman, thinks in his or her heart, so shall it be. Beyond what a person knows or what is ready to take, you can't help him. For instance, I was born poor, raised poor, in a village, but today I'm no longer poor by the grace of God. How and why? That is what I am here to teach you. Oh, our whole system is very different. In the outside world, they are in the secular world. When people make it in life, they keep their USP. They don't want anybody to know how to make it. But here, we teach you everything on how God has helped us. How to make money, how to manage money, how to grow money, how to multiply money without being ungodly, without going fetish or diabolical or ritualistic, without stealing, without going to corruption. That's what I'm teaching here. Don't say you don't need money, because you do. Everyone does. Don't say, I don't need it. No, no, no. Now, if your money problem is solved, over 80% problems of life will have been solved. You need money to live well. You need money to eat well. You need money to be healthy. You need money to earn respect. You need money to take care of your home and your children. You need money to help others. You need money to serve God. You need money to care for your extended family. You need money for self-esteem. You need money to be free from hunger and begging. I can go on and on. And good enough, money is not difficult to have. Wealth is not difficult to build. What is difficult is lack of a teacher, a guide, or a mentor to put us through on time. This is what God has sent us to do for you here. You have wasted many opportunities in life that will have put you on the highways of riches and wealth. Let that one stop. Two things I ask every one of us to do, all of you listening to me, I ask you to ask me questions. I want you to ask me questions on this matter. There are so much confusions on, can somebody really be rich and be godly? Is there a clean way to make money in Nigeria? Ask me all these questions. Send your question as a WhatsApp, as a chat or SMS to this number, 080-555-8377. 080-555-8377. Then obtain my book. I've written a book on this subject titled Why Many People Are Poor and the Way Out of It. You need that book. Your children need that book. Your loved ones need that book. It's priceless. Send an SMS, a chat, or a call to our book officer, Bookie, on 0805 6434 758. 0805 6434 758. Do these two things today and then attend our program every Thursday prayer mountain in Dominion City, 7 to 9 a.m. for service, 9 30 to 11 30 a.m. second service, and our Sunday programs. Two services also, 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. Two, two hours at Dominion City, Aduloju bus stop, at Longiwo Road, Dojo, Express Road, Ibadan. My heart yearns out for you. You don't have to be poor. And if you already have some things coming up, you can go faster. We will build more on this tomorrow. Take that money in your hand and put it on your forehead. I prophesy divine enablement, divine power, unseen grace. Come over you. Turn you around to be rich and wealthy for God and for humanity in Jesus' name. Next to what ministration is testimonies. Listen to these testimonies. I'm Madi Joki Animasha. The last time I was on this mountain was last year, March. I came upon this altar and I told God that God, you can take me to Canada. I was going mm. to Canada. If you can take me there safely and bring me back. I will glorify the name of the Lord. So I was in Canada. Mm. And to the glory of God, my daughter was pregnant and about to deliver. For the week that uh, we had the no more delay, I was connecting to the prayer mountain yes. every uh, Thursday, Thursday over there, despite the time difference. Yes. So I was connecting. So my daughter, one, that week of the prayer, uh, of the no more delay, mm. May 1st, so she was 
going to the hospital, she was about to deliver, but the baby was not coming. So I was connecting and I was I used my anointing oil, yeah. I used my uh, mantle. mantle that I took along and mm. I pray, uh, paid a uh, battle seed. Yes. So it was on that day of the uh, of the no more delay. Yes. That all the prayer points were prayed. We prayed and that is said that we should give a seed, you know, to back up the prayer points that we mm. prayed. So I Put the seed yes, behind sir. it, and to the glory of God, by 10:59 p.m. Yes. that night, she was delivered of a baby boy. Wow. To the glory of God. Wow. Not only that, I uh, God helped me in taking care of the baby. Yes. That my son also is in Canada. To the glory of God, he got his citizenship. You know, he became a citizen. Mm. I want to praise the name of the Lord Hallelujah. for Johnny Mercies. God bless me with bound, uh, wonderful uh, uh, grandchildren. That's right. And I praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. They will grow and be a blessing to you. Amen. Praise the Lord. My name is Miss Precious Anselm. I want to thank God for his mercy and provision. I came here last Thursday. I used the mantle and the battle seed to pray, asking God for divine provision. From that Thursday, all through that week of that Thursday, it was a lot upon a lot. And I also want to thank God that God that started this will continue to do it in his mercy. My name is Patricia Ayalaji. I've come to thank God for his faithfulness and for answered prayers. My daughter has been given citizenship of Canada. Citizenship. So I, and, um, I'm dancing. I'm and for Johnny Mercies. Uh, everything he has been doing in my family, I say thank God. God bless you, man. My name is Harriet Akiola. I want to give God all the glory and adoration. He has been so faithful. He has been so wonderful. I cannot even thank him enough for what he's doing. Concerning my career, God has been blessing me because even because I'm an actress, even in my place of work, they're always asking me, how do you get these jobs? How do you get these jobs? I don't forget my battle seat. Mm. They're always asking me. And I say, it's just God. It's just God. It's just God. It's just God. My second testimony concerning my life, last week I was going out. So when I was coming back, I wanted to cross the road. And I didn't know it was a BRT lane with dual carriage. Mm. So the bus was coming. I was looking at on my left. I didn't look at my, on my right. Mm. So the bus was coming. I, was, I escaped that one. I moved a bit forward. Not knowing that there was another one coming very fast. Wow. I didn't know. The next minute, I just saw myself on the pavement, and I was shaking. Mm. And I just thank God that I'm here today yes. to say thank yes. you to God Almighty. You are protected and defended. Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. My name is Urban of Faith. I want to thank God for the gift of life. Gift I want to life. thank God for everything that he has done for me. Everything Last else. month on the 17th, yes. I had accidents. Wow. Keke accident. Wow. From Awoshika to just two seconds to GT Bank. I was sitting in front. The next thing I would just hear was a loud noise from the back. Before we just think I'm on the floor, the keke is on me. The car was dragging the keke on the floor, and I was on the ground there. I just want to thank God for life. Mm, for life. The car ran away. Everybody came to help me take the keke off me, but they raised me up. So I was here, but just said, the Oluwa, she's alive. Thank God for life. Thank God for life. Thank God for life. And this is I just want to thank God for and life. I sustained injuries. I've not come at since a month now, but I just said, let me come and thank God yes. for life. I thank, thank God, God for, for my life. Your life is thank preserved. you, Jesus. Then yeah. I want to thank God for my business on on Monday 19th. My business was seven years. I want yeah. to give God all the glory and adoration. God bless you. Wow. They will bless you the more. Is today your bad day? Let me pray for you. Lay your hand on your body. I bless your bad day. I bless your new age. You will live long and live well. You will be healthy, wealthy. You will serve God and live to your full old age. Say amen. I receive it. I have been announcing this for a time. It's counting down. It's about to start this Friday. Please, everyone listening to me in Ibadan, between age 20 to 35, outside the Ibadan, outside of your state, it is non-denominational, non-tribal, non-racial, non-religious. Age 20 to 35 is our 2024 youth conference holding at Dominion City from this Friday, Saturday, it will climb us on Sunday, Friday, September 6, 4 p.m. and Saturday, September 7, 10 a.m. in the morning and then Sunday in two services, 7 to 9 and 9 to 11. Oh, the theme is Mantle of Power. Oh, come, come, it will change you. 
you must not suffer what the older generation suffered. We'll be teaching you so many things, it will blow your mind. At that age, some of you are married, come with your wife, come with your spouses. It will be great. And let nobody miss it out. You can make it early if somebody will guide you. We will mentor you, we will teach you, we will empower you, your eyes will open, your mind will blow open in this tech age, in this online age. So many opportunities. Now, conference is free, but you need to register and let us know you are coming. These two numbers, SMS, send a chat or a call, 0813-485-2813, 0813-485-2813, and 0 802-612-6778. 0802-612-6778. Do so now. Now there is uh, accommodation. Some people have been asking, is there accommodation? Oh, we have decent accommodation for you. If you want to sleep over Friday to Saturday, maybe Saturday to Sunday also, it's going to cost you just 5,000 naira per night. Come with your toiletries. You have ample water, no electricity and uh, security. Or oh, Dominion City. Come and see that city. We have guest houses. We have beautiful places you can stay. But you will also have cheap and affordable food around you can buy for yourself. But for the accommodation, for cleaning, for soap and all the rest of it, just 5,000 naira a month. Call that number for more information. 0813-485-2813. People are coming from all the place. Please, age 20 to 35, it is once a year we are expecting you. Please be there. And this Thursday, I invite all my listeners in and around Ibadan to the prayer mountain coming up this Thursday. Two services as usual, 7 to 9 a.m. First service, two hours. 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Second service, two hours. Venue, as usual, is Dominion City, along the Oro Dojo, Express Road, Ibadan. Oh, we position buses, coastal buses, at Living Spring Chapel, Songo, Ibadan, and at Poplar Petrol Station, Iworo, Ibadan, to bring people to the two services, to and fro, you just have to pay a token. We'll give you an anointed mantu for praying and doing miracle for free. Prayer focus this Thursday is anointing for surplus supplies. Anointing for overflow. Luke chapter 6, verse 33, 38. He said to overflow. Bring a cup, any cup, plastic cup or any cup is a prophetic action. He said, Your cup runs over. That anointed my head with oil, your cup runs over. So bring a cup. We will raise it up, empty cup, and we will use it as a point of contact and be calling for the anointing for running over. Uh, yes, in your business, in your career, in your academic, in your family life, in your health life, there will be surplus supply. People may be saying things are hard, expensive, economic downturn, your own will be different. There was darkness in Egypt, but light shone in Goshen. Come with a cup to Dominion City this Thursday in any of the two services as a prophetic touch of power, your cup will run over. No scarcity. Oh yes, flood of glory and of greatness. They will give you anointing, creativity, and power. I always call resident close to Dominion City. People are coming from all over Ibadan, as big as Ibadan is, outside Ibadan, outside of your state. Some people come to sleep over. I told you we have beautiful accommodation, beautiful hostel in Dominion City, just 5,000 naira per night. People come all over, be there. So all residents of the Midiri Estate, Samba Murayo Hotel area, Olon Tedo Estate, Jackon area, Aduloju Community, Yano, Bodija, Ori of First Street, Alak Banyo Quarters, A3 Hotel area, Rainbow area, Kajorepo Kajola, Ajao Community, Agbowo Express, Barika Water, Ojo Bashorun, Orogon, Ashi, Bodija, MFM Bus Stop area, General Gas area, Akobo area, Akalawe, University of Ibadan. You are not far from Dominion City at all. Be there this Thursday in any of the two services. Come with a cup, an empty cup for prophetic action. And for the youth conference starting this Friday to Saturday, climaxing on Sunday, please come from all over. What is left for me now is a prophetic blessing for the day. Receive it. My tongue is initiated. My head is anointed to declare the word of God over you. And every declaration I make over you today, heaven will sign. 
I declare that you are favored. I declare that you are lifted. I declare that you are healed. Your path is made straight. Every crooked path before you is straightened up. God will fight those fighting you. God will contend with those contending with you. God will bless those blessing you. Everywhere your name, your product, your application, your things, everywhere is mentioned today, favor will be released. You will not suffer like others. You will not be delayed anymore. I see somebody coming out of hiding today. I see the spiritual embargo on you lifted. The prayers you pray for yourself and your children will be answered. Your expectation will become your manifestation. I don't know who this person is. I see you dancing and rejoicing. I don't know who this person is. I see people congratulating you. You will go beyond where your parents stop. What they suffer, you will not suffer. What kill them will not kill you. What stop them will not stop you. Hey, your case is different. Hey, your case is special. God will treat you with a special attention. You are returning with testimony. Go and receive favor. Go and bring testimony. Your goods and market will be sold out. I see money. I see you in money. I see you in prosperity. I see you in power. I see fresh oil of God's grace on you. I see anointing on you. I see you lay hand on the sick and they are healed. I see you lay hand on business and turn it around. In Jesus' name. Say amen, amen, amen. Amen. Wow, you will not just be hearing these things. You will live in their realities. Something has just happened to you now. You will discover it later. We will build more on this tomorrow. Femi Manuel is my name. I love you. Have a great day.